Good morning. Uh, how are you? I hope you are all fine. I know some of you know me. And uh, my name is Joseph Ejapon. You can call me say Ziggy. Uh, I want to welcome all of you to GHS One. And I'll be taking you to uh, through basic design technology. Now with the basic design and technology, under the basic design technology, we have three subjects. We have pre-technical skills, which people know is as technical drawing. We have pre-vocational skills. Some people normally call it what home economics. And we have visual arts. We have visual arts. Now, with the basic design and technology, uh, we said it combines the principles and processes in various aspects. The aspect of pre-technical skills. When you are talking about aspect of pre-technical skills, we are referring to meta work. We are referring to woodwork. We are referring to plastics. And we are referring to block work. These are the aspects of pre-technical skills. Now, home economics, the aspect of home economics are the food processes. And the aspect of visual art are designing. So all these three subjects are combined, are combined together. That's why we call it what basic design and technology. So when we are talking about basic design and technology, it comprises with what, three subjects known as the pre-technical skills, home economics, and visual arts. I'll be taking you through pre-technical skills. Now, with the pre-technical skills, what we said is, when we come to basic design and technology, basic is what forming essential foundation or, or starting point. Forming essential foundation or starting point. Meaning that is what how to develop skills. That's basic. How to develop skills. So we here is, is the basis. Basis. How the, the peoples can able to develop their own skills. Now when we come to design. Design is a process of what identifying a problem in your environment. In your environment. After identifying the problem, then you find out solution of the problem. Now the, this solution of the problem is whereby you are going to manufacture artifacts. Of the problem you have identified. When we are talking about artifacts, we are referring to what the object. Every object is an artifact. So the book that you are using is an artifact. Pen is an artifact. Table is an artifact. Chairs is an artifact. Building is an artifact. A car is an artifact. So after, after you have studied the basic design technology, the meaning of design is what? You have to identify the problem. And after identifying the problem, then you bring out the, the, the artifacts that you have identified. That's whereby you are making sketches or you draw you draw. So here count the basic is what forming essential foundation. Know the skills. Then when you come to design is what you identify the problem in your area. Then technology is how to use your tools and materials and the process of what developing the product that you are satisfied. 
you are problem that satisfied. So when we come to a uh, basic is what you, you have to develop a skills. After developing your skills, you come to design where you identify a problem. Now, identifying a problem goes to through what investigation. After you have finished identifying the problem, then you are going to bring it out by using your tools to bring it out. So that's what the uh, basic design technology means. That's the reason why when you combine this basic design and technology together, we said what com it, it is the process in various aspects of pre-tech, home accounts, and visual arts as one subject. Is that okay? Okay. Now, when we, when we come to said um, artifact, as somebody have manufactured artifacts, the person who manufactured artifacts are called the craftsman. The person who manufactured artifacts are called the craftsman. So the craftsman is the person that who will manufacture the artifacts. The artifacts are called the objects, as some of you know, are called the ob objects. Fine. So now we move to uh, reasons for studying basic design and technology. Reason for studying basic design and technology. Now, reason for studying basic design and technology, to be said, one, to acquire problem solving skills through the use of design processes. So design processes is the st study of your environment. You have to investi investigate. You have to do to research. And after you have finished everything, you are going to bring what you have identified. You bring it out. Bringing it out is by manufacture an artifact. So in the pre-tech, when you find something in your area and you want to bring it out, you have to use your tools to bring it out in the form of what objects. So studying basic design technology, it, it helps people to use of design process. And again, it also helps students to use ICT in research and designing where applicable, where the need arises, is where you can use your ICT in research. Now, laptops, when you go to Google, when you go to um, the internet, whatever you want to do, you can go there and do the, the research. And through that, it will give you the idea or the knowledge to able to uh, do pre-technical skills. Again, it also develops people with creative minds and multiple skills. Now, through studying the basic design technology, it will give you the skills that you need, the skills that you need. And again, if you have something in your mind, through studying the pre-technical skills, you can able to bring it out by sketching. Sketching is whereby if somebody decided to draw a human being, meaning that the person is doing sketching. If you are drawing milk, meaning that you are sketching. If you are drawing table, meaning that you are sketching. So it's develop people with creative minds and multiple skills. The skills that they have in, in them, through studying the basic design technology, they can able to get more when they study basic design technology. And also, for it gives students moral principles in conduct of business. Now, because of you have the basis, 
you can able to establish your own business that's entrepreneur somebody who who study business and technology through that the person can open a fitting shop because of you have the idea and you have the basis it will help you so that when you establish your business at least you can able to apply moral skills in your business the conduct of your business is how you bring discipline in your business through that your business will go far are you with me okay five it also equips people to acquire valuable skills that will open up a wide range of opportunities for work studying pre-technical skills it will help you to acquire more skills somebody and study pre-technical skills the person can able to paint his own room that's what that's the person have acquired skills studying pre-technical skills the person can able to fix his chair that's the tempera studying basic design technology or pattern caskers the person can able to show his back so it will give you a skills and it will open up a wide range of opportunities for work so somebody can study said i will study basic design technology now through the study of basic design technology the person will acquire skills and through this course he can able to establish his own business okay and again it also helps to apply practical skills safe use of tools and judicious use of materials in the workshop now when we are talking about materials we are referring to wood wood is a material metal is a material plastic is a material now studying basic design technology now it will teach you how to use your tools when you are at the workshop when you are at workshop how to use it and how to protect the tools you have in the workshop so example if i want to manufacture a chair we have material wood now the tools is hammer hammer is a tool pieces when i talk about hammer i'm talking about the one that we use to strike nails it's a two pieces is the one that if the nail is bent then we use it to remove the nails that one too is is a two the nails that we are using is also one of them so it will teach you how to use your tools well so that's how said if i want to work at the workshop when we go to the workshop we have the tools in the workshop and the materials too are there how you use your tools that's a study basic design technology it will tell you that right tools should be used for the right job now if you are working on a wood where you have hammer and somebody too is working on a block you cannot use hammer on a block but hammer rather is used on a wood work so you need to after studying the basic design technology you know the tools 
which tools are meant for block work, which tools are meant for plastics, which tools are meant for metal work, and which tools are meant for woodwork. That's um, studying business and technology. So all what we are saying is, for you to be able to get a skills in other subjects that we are doing, basic design technology give you more skills. So that through that skills, you can even the skills will help you can able to do your math, science, and the rest of the subjects. So that's how basic design and technology mean for. So when you're talking about basic design technology, we are saying that it combines the principles and process in the various aspects of pre-technical skills, home economics, and visual art as one subject. When you combine these three subjects together, you'll get basic design and technology. Now, after you study all these ones, then you come to reason for studying basic design and technology. Why do you study basic design and technology? Like what I said, through all this, you get a skills and it will help you. That's the reason why nowadays we are saying that we at least, our children who are going to secondary school, should at least pick one technical school so that at least it will give you whatever you want to do so learning basic design technology will help you for you to do basic things basic things so my children i will end here i will end here i want you to study the notes and copy everything then go through the notes i will meet you next week then we discuss further thank you very much and god bless you bye bye bye, -bye.